Houston. This was a Long March 5B rocket, carried the Chinese space station to orbit. Uh, for whatever reason, they either chose not to deorbit it or they were unable to deorbit it. And so it's it's currently undergoing a, a uh, uncontrolled reentry. Okay, so an update, Elzar 760 says, Aerospace Corporation says it may have reentered, absence of new data sets, et cetera. Okay, so very interesting. So it's possible it could have reentered. We're going to continue to monitor. Possible it could have reentered. We're going to continue to monitor. Look for confirmation of that. Uh, Daryl Lynn Alvarez, thank you for the five bucks. Says shout out to my hardworking husband Tony from Chicago. So very, thank you very much. So we're continuing to monitor the situation very carefully. They said absence of new data. I'm not sure if that's referring to on one of the radar stations where they're expecting it or not. Uh, we're continuing to watch it. Diego Pardo, thank you very much for that thumbs up. So the orbital ground track is currently over the Indian Ocean. We knew it was intact coming off the coast of the Middle East. So we think that it may, uh, uh, there, there's some potential it could have come down or be coming down over the Indian Ocean right now. We're, we're uh, waiting some kind of confirmation. Obviously not a very inhabited area, but we do know it made it through the Middle East. The next possible place where it could be seen would be Australia. It is daylight there. So they won't see it if it's still up. But if it's coming down as fireballs, then it would be would be visible. Obviously, a lot of land land mass over there. So we're we're awaiting some kind of confirmation here. So if you're in Southwest Australia, um, you know now's the time where you start thinking about hitting outside and looking for things. Somebody asking, is Hawaii safe? Uh, so as of right now, it doesn't look like it's going to make it all the way to Hawaii. We'll see though. And even if it does, there's low low potential for, for accident or injury. You know, there's a, a lot of space on Earth. That's one thing that's that's nice, is a lot of a lot of open space. You know, it can be deceiving when you live in a city, you know, because you see tons of people. But uh, you know, most places on Earth are still very much uh, uninhabited. Which is good when you have these sorts of situations. So I see lots of Australians in the chat. Yeah, definitely looking. Looking forward to hearing what you have to say. Uh, a couple people asking, is it radioactive? It would definitely not be radioactive. So no, no hazard from that. How can it re-entry when re-entry starts at 100 kilometers, 62 miles above the Earth? Um, sea level and altitude at the moment is approximately 157 kilometers. Yeah. So there are there are high and low points of the orbit. You know, these orbital elements are based on, on uh, you know, you know the, the latest data that we had from space surveillance radars. Um, this is based on the assumption that it is still in orbit. So, uh, because orbits have a high point and a low point on the orbit, you know, it's possible that uh, you know that the low point of the orbit is already taking it inside the atmosphere. And if that were to happen, you know, it would very rapidly deorbit. Melissa Dunstan, thank you for joining cabin crew. Chris B, thank you. It says James Gill is hiding in the corner of his basement in New Jersey. Can you tell him it's safe to come upstairs? Well, James, uh, I would say uh, no need to, to 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 hide in the basement any longer. Uh, head on upstairs. I don't think it's going to make it to the U.S. It'd be pretty shocking. Champion Gold Gaming, will Brad Pitt be safe? I think most likely if he's in the United States, pretty safe place right now. I don't think it's going to stay stay in space that long. You never know, but you know. We'll see. So Bethany Mihai, thank you for the donation. Thank you everyone who's been asking questions via Super Chat. It really helps us throughout the day get through all this. Uh, Eon Boyle, thank you uh, for the donation. Do you think the rocket will be affected by Candace? Um, not sure what that what that's quite referring to. <laughs> Uh, Mr. Uh, Bretzel and Minno, uh, sorry if I get your, your names wrong, uh, uh, is Canada safe? So at this point, uh, it looks like North America, it's not going to stay in orbit long enough to reach North America. It'd be pretty surprising if it does. Annabelle, thank you for the donation. Thanks for this. Please shout out to my boyfriend, Johannes. Uh, we're, we're, we're tuned in. Well, well uh, shout out to Johannes. 
Champion Gold Gaming. Will uh, Mia Khalifa be safe? Um, hopefully. <laughs> Megan Ashcroft, North Perth West Build. Thank you for the donation. And again, these are coming through very quickly, so I do apologize if any of these don't, if I miss any of these. Uh, Big Lemon, if it landed on my property, would I own it? So this, this gets kind of, kind of a legal gray area, you know. Uh, oftentimes, you know, for spacecraft, they, the owners of the spacecraft do claim they have ownership. However, depending on what country it lands in, you know, whether they have local jurisdiction, you know, for that, um, you know, varies. Uh, Greg Tanner, thank you very much for the two dollars. Says anyone in New Jersey should worry? Question mark or I guess uh, my answer is if you're in New Jersey, you should worry. It's it's most likely uh, either re-entered already, preparing to re-enter. So I appreciate that. And somebody asked me, what do you do? So so my day job, um, I do run a a company that builds large vertical takeoff drones called Aerial Vehicle Automation. We're building drones that can carry 15 or make 1500 pounds of thrust to carry several hundred pounds at a time. So initially cargo, and then who knows, maybe one day humans, we'll see. But uh, that's what I do in my day job as, a, as an engineer and as, a, as an executive of that company. A proud.army.family, thank you very much for the $5. Says happy Mother's Day to my beautiful daughter-in-law, Cassandra in Wisconsin. And the other parts of what I do is I do cover rocket launches. I've been doing it for about 10 years from the space shuttle to Falcon 9s, Falcon Heavies, Starship, uh, uh, Atlas, Atlas five rockets, you know, Delta four heavies. Um, I've covered a wide, I've been fortunate enough to cover a wide variety of rockets and, and, and film them on, on my personal channel, which is David Go Jr. David G O J R. Samantha Belfiore, thank you very much. Can you say hi to Joe McKenzie? He's, he has a tummy ache. Well, I hope Joe that your tummy ache, uh, gets, gets way better and hope you're, hope you're doing well. So at this point, uh, we're approaching the southwestern coast of Australia with this this center stage here and uh, if you're in Australia you now's the time to kind of go outside start kind of watching the horizon keep an eye on this thing see if you see any kind of fireballs the state we're in a sort of a zombie state we don't know whether this thing is dead or alive at this point we don't know whether it's re-entered already or still you know still in orbit but we do know that it's likely coming down soon it's uh it's getting dragged in by the by the Earth's atmosphere. So I'm gonna take a brief moment, just check some of the feeds here. See if the colleague said anything. So this will pass almost directly over Perth, Australia, if it is still in orbit. So if you're in Perth, uh, get out there, take a look. Let us know if you see anything. You kind of glance on social media every now and then people mistake an airplane for for the trails but you'd know it was still up as as of the middle east and jordan and saudi arabia of course it's now been in somebody asking is new zealand in in uh in danger and uh so it's your esm and so the answer is uh, uh the ground track does go over over new zealand we don't know whether it's re-entered yet or not uh, but the ground track does pass over new zealand so keep an eye on that uh, Alex the Goat YouTube says R.I.P. Candace. She got hit by the rocket. So, so Candace getting getting kind of trolled here. In the chat. Uh, Susan uh, Schultz, thank you very much for the five bucks. So continuing to monitor the situation. So Perth, Australia is, is kind of the next the next zone. Megan Ashcroft North. Perth Westfield says shout out shout out Brandon I love you give him that shout out there uh, Maddie Gaga hey welcome back again a massive shout out to my cousin in Australia Bunduga VIC Oscar Riddell he is tuned in well hello to Oscar Riddell little JO2 gaming says why why you is you and me is me who knows that's one of those fundamental questions <laughs> the f fickle finger of fate right uh, Neguenar Nadalye, thanks for the two bucks. It says, uh, paint on canvas on IG. I want to meet some of y'all. Go check him out. Thanks to, once again to everybody on the super chats who's been going today. So at this point, we are moments away from the passing of this, uh, this Chinese Long March 5 B stage passing over Australia. 
if it is still in the air. We don't know. It may have re-entered. We don't know yet. Uh, Grayson Powell, thank you very much, saying Steve Kornacki has got nothing on you. BA Method, thank you, Schrodinger's Rocket. So yeah, right at this moment, if you're in Perth, should be right above you. If it's still up, or if it's gone down the Indian Ocean, there won't be anything. But also, if it's still safely in orbit, you also wouldn't see it because it's in the middle of the day there. So there won't be enough contrast. Jason Jones, thanks for the for the ten dollars and sixty nine cent donation. Uh, Dogecoin to the moon. Tyler Devol, uh, thank you for the donation. Will this be observed by the orbit of BOFA? Uh, I, I am not sure. Great, great question. I don't know off the top of my hand where this where BOFA is. Mary Stokes, uh, could you say happy birthday to Marissa Bobo? Well, happy birthday to Marissa Bobo. And it's cool. We have this kind of conversion of people from around the world monitoring this in different languages and different places. So I do apologize if I mess up on any pronunciations, but uh, doing my best. Saying Iraq is freaking out from the rocket. Well, you shouldn't be you shouldn't be worried about it now. It should have passed you safely. We know that, you know, it did make it out of Saudi Arabia in one piece. So we're continuing to monitor this thing. It's right over Australia right now, about to fly back off the coast. So it looks like it'll pass over the kind of very northern area of Tasmania and then out to New Zealand after that. So, so Bertram Whitman, shout out to Tom H. What's up from Northridge? Donna Anderson, thank you for the chat. Shauna K, how unusual is for for for, to, for it to go in orbital velocity like this? Well, not unusual. Uh, in fact, you know, many rockets are launched every every year now. So not 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 too unusual. Continue to go through these. Bonnie B says, tell Randy I love him. Well, Bonnie loves you, Randy. Michael Haas, uh, where is the rocket.com? Yeah, we don't know. That's the question, right? Money to Mooney Productions, 1172. Thank you very much. Asking where do babies come from? You have to open up your, your biology textbook for that. Kind of, kind of funny story, even though I'm an engineer now in college, I actually was a biology major and then took extra engineering physics. So, so go figure. Can answer that, but probably more too much detail for the stream. Uh, Flyersman, thank you very much for the for the five dollar donation. Uh, Doge Elon, Doge Elon Musk, Mars coin is the new thing to Mars. So Doge Elon Mars coin, the new thing to Mars. Interesting. Uh, Masha Sharoki, thank you. Thanks again. Uh, some people are saying the rocket is down again. Not sure if it's true or not yet on Twitter. So we're keeping an eye on that as well. We're still waiting for some kind of formal confirmation, either from one of the radar surveillance sites or waiting for confirmation in the terms of a video of reentry occurring. So at this point, possible it may be down, as we've been saying, uh, but we don't, we don't know yet. So I am seeing some indications on Twitter claiming that there may have been reentry, but we're you know, unverified as of right now. We know we made it made off the coast of the Middle East. So as of right now, we're getting ready to, you know, we're passing south of Australia. Uh, next, next landfall would be kind of just northern Tasmania. Let me turn a bit here. So just continuing to monitor the chat here. Thank you very much for the super chats. Apologize if I missed any. Palmalab FB, thank you very much. Palmiras, Nao Tan Mundial. I don't know if I said that correctly, but thanks. Ceci, thank you. Went to the live chat here. Eva Jordan saying, huh, thanks for the five bucks. I am eating a granola bar right now and it is absolute gas. So thanks for that, for that one. Vicky, uh, no re-entry over Perth, uh, Western Australia. Okay, so thank you for the update, Vicky. That's awesome. Good, good, solid information there. Appreciate you following up and donating as you did it. Salty Dog 001, thank you very much. Happy Mother's Day to my beautiful, kind, and golden-hearted Shannon Yost. So happy, happy Mother's Day, Shannon.
Um, thanks for the donation. Can I get a shout out to Cody and Taylor Andrews from Auckland, New Zealand? So shout out to Cody and Taylor. Uh, hope hope we don't get hit. Uh, we'll see. <laughs> shout out to Exotic Leopard 92. He's my bro. So at this point, uh, you know, if you're in Southern Australia, uh, keep an eye out for any kind of fireball show, you know, even kind of the Sydney, Sydney region, keep an eye out anywhere in this sort of gray or bluish circle could potentially see it. And if it is re-entering, if there is a fireball re-entry, you would likely see it during the day, as long as there's not clouds blocking you. So keep an eye, keep an eye out there. But you can see from the ground track, you know, flight over the kind of the northern part of Tasmania and then flight over New Zealand. Trevor Gretzky, thank you. Marshall Dines, thank you. Uh, I want to wish Lisa Dines a happy Mother's Day from Alex and Kara. Uh, Richard Gruber, is Papa John Shatner the man who once ate over 40 pizzas in 30 days going to be okay? Hope, hopefully. Ke uh, Kristen Lopez, thank you. Kia Kaha, New Zealand. We got this. We always do. Well, anybody, yeah, anybody in any of these areas, please do keep me updated. If you see, you know, keep us all updated. You've got 44,000 people here who want to know uh, what's going on with this. The whole world is watching. So continuing to check here. Still no formal confirmation that it has landed at this point. Oh, this is kind of interesting. So I am seeing something on Twitter showing potentially fireball in Oman, but too early to tell whether that is it or not. And we did have we did have reports from. Okay, Anthony Quintano, thank you for the $50, saying Chinese rocket down over Indian Ocean, according to Chinese government. Okay, very interesting. Let's see if we can get a confirmation. This thing may be down. It's possible. So continuing to check here. So still waiting on formal confirmation. China's Human Spaceflight Agency predicts Lawnmark 5B reentry occurred at 2 UTC today, plus or minus 15 minutes. So that's a prediction based on the orbital elements. But once again, until we have radar confirmation or we have video, then we don't know. Okay, continue to look here, read some super chats. Thank you very much. Uh, and Andrew Pramil, thank you very much. Rick R says, was worried about my wedding next month in New Jersey. Shout out to my fiance, Megan. Love you. Thanks for covering and pray all are safe. And Trevor Gretzky, thank you again for the for the chat as well. And once again, apologize if there are any super chats I've missed. Um, trying, there's they're moving very quickly here, and sometimes I'm multitasking, so do apologize if any are missed. But at this point, if this thing is still in the air, it would be headed towards New Zealand right now. And so the Chinese government saying they they think it based on their orbital almost that it would be down in the Indian Ocean, but we don't know for sure. You know, their, their guess is, is likely not any better than ours. They don't have any, any uh, likely any better data necessarily than, than we do. Leslie Vianet, thank you very much for the $5 chat. Appreciate it. So, yeah, just kind of waiting on further, further information here. At this point, if it is still up, it would be approaching New Zealand. So anybody still in southeastern Australia now, you know, let us know. Uh, let us know what's going on for sure. I'm just checking my messages here, see if there's anything new. Okay, so my colleague just did post. Important. Uh, CZ5B China has announced that the estimated time of reentry will be at 10, 12, plus 15 minutes. On May 9th, at the center of the reentry area will be located 28.38 east longitude and 34.43 north latitude Chinese rocket. And so we're still trying to confirm that, if that is actually down or not. Uh, somebody is saying, spacetrack.org, that they spoke with the team. We have indications the rocket is down. Once they get radar confirmation of nothing in orbit, which will be at a, after 0300 UTC, they will release a final message with time. Y'all can start hiding in your bunkers. So there are some people, various sources, now kind of getting more and more credible that this thing may be down. 
but we're still awaiting that Raider confirmation at three Zulu. So hopefully in around 10 minutes or so, we'll have some formal notification here. KCG, thank you very much for the $5. Would you mind promoting my hus hubby's YouTube channel? Coffee Pot uh, Space Dad. It's about family life topics. If not, I understand. Case. Well, happy to read out super chats as they come in. Uh, that's that. That's the, the, the benefit. Tyler DeVol, thank you very much for the $10. The astronaut Yuri uh, Retart said this could land in Europe. But of course, that seems like, seems like most of the sources are now converging on possibly a landing in the Indian Ocean. We're still awaiting confirmation. We'll see if on this expected radar update around 3 UTC, which is in about 10 minutes from now, if uh, this thing actually is down. Joseph Fish, 1966, thanks for the super chat. So if it is down, uh, you know, it, it would appear that it was sometime after passing over the Middle East and before it reached Australia. We're still awaiting though. Uh, Ashley uh, Page, thank you very much. She says, I'm in Allendale, South Australia and saw absolutely nothing in the sky, just a few clouds, but enough clarity to see any kind of light show. So good to know. So we, you know, we're getting a lot of reports that people saw it in the Middle East, in Oman, in Jordan, in Saudi Arabia, and then people were not seeing anything in Australia so far. So it does support that it's possible that it went down in the Indian Ocean, but we're awaiting that final confirmation. So we are all uh, all in this together, just kind of seeing what the what the final outcome of this is. Is it down? Is it still up? If it is still up, it would be going over New Zealand right now. So anybody in New Zealand, please take a look for us. Let us know. Let us know in the chat whether it's down. A happy Mother's Day to Susan Bobo. Thanks, Marae Strokes, for the chat. So kind of like as I've been talking about the whole time, if it does end up in the ocean, you know, that was always the most likely outcome. Uh, El Eco Loco, thank you very much for the chat. Happy Mother's Day to Yolanda. Mike Bowers, safe moon token to the moon. Thank you for the donation. Maka Framila Lama. Live long and prosper. Live long and prosper to you as well. As Spock would say. Johannes uh, uh, Klusch, uh, Annabelle, I love you so much. I can't wait to see you in 15 sleeps. Lil J02 Gaming, also Hot Dog Water 52. He's my bro too. So thank you very much for those chats, guys. So at this point, uh, should be over now the you know the far, basically eastern coast of New Zealand at this point. Be curious to hear if anybody there has seen anything. It does seem we are getting reports that uh, it may be down, according to many different sources. We are long past our you know the estimate uh, <clears throat> of when the window began for reentry. So, Mari D'Angelo, Happy Mother's Day to Cheryl Ann from her hubby Robster. Trevor Gretzky, I'm I'm in the doghouse. Can you help me cheer up my girlfriend? We love the channel. Well, well, Trevor's girlfriend. I hope uh, uh, I hope you get Trevor out of the doghouse soon. He's sure been he's sure been nice to us today, so we really appreciate it. Okay, continuing to monitor the feeds here. Hoping for an update here in about six minutes. So lots of reports coming in about an Indian Ocean landing still. Still trying to confirm those with some sort of solid radar, you know, situation where they're, where the object is missing from the radar. Still looking at multiple sources, still radar confirmation awaiting. At this point, it is now flying out of the New Zealand zone. I'd be curious if anybody in New Zealand saw it. Chris B, thanks for the play-by-play. -play. James Gill finally came up from the basement. Well, well good, huh? Glad James is finally out of the basement. Or, or it's safe now, it appears to be. 
Masha Shah Roki, thank you very much once again. Says Jonathan McDowell, insiders at Space Force reporting that data indicates the rocket has indeed re entered, but awaiting for confirmation, i.e., it correctly fails to show up on radar next time around. Okay. So it seems like some of the Space Force folks, the experts in all this, do think it may be down, but awaiting that radar definitive confirmation that it's missing. Uh, Pamelov FB, Fora Bolsonaro, thank you for the donation. Uh, Spex SZN says, I saw the rocket two minutes ago in Melbourne. I got it on film. Okay, interesting. Well, if you have it on film, feel free to post it on, on Twitter and it will get passed around and disseminated. So we'll see here. So at this point, the rocket uh, center core stage, again, this thing was launched the Chinese space station up. Just to kind of give a, a quick recap, uh, you know, has, has been going through an uncontrolled reentry. We don't know yet whether it is down or not. There are some, a lot of experts who seem to think it most likely is, but everybody also agrees to wait for radar confirmation. So shout out to Rob uh, the Pfeiffer, long live prog rock from Michael House. Thank you for the chat. So just awaiting confirmation at this point, if it is still up, it is in the Southern Pacific Ocean and it is going on a very long cruise over absolutely nothing, no land, just huge ocean and for you know, thousands and thousands of miles. So at, at this point, uh, you know, we're just waiting for some kind of confirmation. Debo, thanks for the $5. Can you do a shout out to Shandell and tell her happy Mother's Day? Well, Shandell, happy Mother's Day. Happy to do it. So we all watch this interesting historical event go down. What'll be interesting are what, you know, what the, what kind of happens after this is all over, you know, will, will the Chinese kind of aim to deorbit their rockets or not? Uh, Will, you know, will, will, will lessons be learned from this? It'll be interesting to find out. Uh, Elise uh, Kapaner, thank you very much for the chat. Aloha. Uh, happy almost birthday, Bree. So thank you very much for the $15 super chat. Awesome. And thank you for the $10 super chat from Mike as well. Every little bit helps and helps us to cover these types of events. If you liked, you know, commentary today and if you liked everything that was going on, you know, we do appreciate, you know, finances are tough, but uh, any anything you're able to donate is, is awesome. But at this point, uh, we're we're still awaiting the, the fate of this uh, of this of this core stage, and the definitive proof will come if we if we hear from the from one of the space surveillance radar teams that that something's missing. So we're we're waiting for that. Still checking. Have more more confirmations from Israel that it was visible. When it passed over Israel, so we, here's what we know: we we have lots of videos and confirmations that it passed over Israel, passed over the Middle East, passed over Saudi Arabia, Jordan, and then at some point between there and Australia, we weren't able to see it again. But then again, if it was still up, we wouldn't see it during the day because it's it's you know the middle of the day for Australia. So we'll continue to monitor this. Damien Greenwell, thank you for the chat. Huge shout out to all the mothers and a double shout out to the mothers who are on the front lines battling COVID as nurses. So much love. So absolutely second that a million times. It's been a difficult last year for everybody. And it's nice that we can all be united to watch some space news together. Uh, Heather, the lawyer, thank you for the chat. Can you say hi to Sophia from her mom, Heather? Well, Sophia, mom, Heather says, uh, your mom, Heather says hello. Thank you very much for the 33,000 uh, yen. I, I, I unfortunately can't can't read your name, but uh, best wishes. Uh, Robert Hampson Music, thank you for the uh, for the five. Hi from Scotland, UK. I don't think the rocket has landed yet, as the UK news is still saying it's not landed yet. Well, we'll see. We'll see. I think they're probably in the same kind of la la land that we are, where we're awaiting some kind of formal confirmation. We have a lot of experts saying that it should have gone down by now. Uh, we know that it, you know made it out of the Middle East. We don't know anything beyond that yet. We haven't seen any videos yet. Izzy Chi, thank you for the chat. Frank Rosiak, shout out to, to, to Frank and shout out happy Mother's Day to my perfect wife, Yasmin. Happy Mother's Day, everyone. At this point, if we are, if this rocket is, stage is still in the air. It would be over the, over the Southern Pacific Ocean. Just continuing to monitor it at this point. 
see if uh, we get a formal radar confirmation. We are, we are seeing uh, kind of conflicting information on whether it's down or not. We, have, we do have at least one report somebody claims to have seen it, but you know sometimes you can see, sometimes things can be confusing. So we're still trying to determine whether that's accurate or not. So I'm just doing another search here. Latest. Thank you very much for the chat. And yeah, appreciate appreciate the, the kind words here. Kurt Bidwell, thanks for the coverage. Been watching all night. Happy to be here. Happy to top some talk some orbital reentry stuff. Fun stuff. Just checking the latest updates here. Still awaiting formal confirmation here. So if for some reason it does make it to land still, if it has not landed, uh, looks like we would be almost reaching Mexico. On this next orbit. So we'll, we will see. So it's, it is three UTC. So we're just waiting for somebody to make a tweet about that last data here, or to see if we get an update off the space surveillance website directly. So we're, we're looking at that. Thank you for the super chat. Hello from Japan. I hope not harm anyone. Ha hello, mo happy Mother's Day. Well, we all hope the same thing. Odds are, <clears throat> odds are it's down in the ocean somewhere, but we're we're waiting. Thanks for the next me the new membership from Templeton. Welcome to Cabin Crew. <clears throat> and if you like this channel, we do do urge you to subscribe. Um, subscribe to this channel. If you like me, my personal YouTube is David Go Junior. David G O J R. Again, David G O J R. Uh, we're here to cover space launch events for you. We're going to be covering uh, a lot of other future uh, space events, whether it be launches, uh, landings, um, as the SpaceX program to fly, you know, astronauts to Mars and to the moon continues. We're going to be all over that. So, so if you like what you see here today and you like this kind of coverage, uh, there's there's a lot of, uh, of of good knowledge we can bring to to those areas as well. And thank you for the chat. Uh, Take note 101. Happy Mother's Day to beautiful wife Sarah. Happy Mother's Day there. So it looks like we do have some recent footage getting put up here. Probably one of the passes over the Middle East, perhaps. We'll see. Well, let me see. Let me actually talk to my colleague here and see where this was. Confirmation on that. Thank you for the chat. Thank you for the thousand yen. Tora, invoke. Thank you very much. Seeing some interesting tweets here. Let me just see if this is to confirm any of these here before I announce it. So there are, you know, some <clears throat> people posting videos of the 2015 reentry of the ATV Jules Verne capsule, claiming it's the Chinese rocket. So, like anything on social media, you've gotta you've gotta be extra careful to make sure that the information is is correct. Do you see video from Israel if it's still intact? But yeah, still still awaiting <laughs> confirmation. Oh, video from Oman looks like a long tail, like it was burning up or breaking up, may uh, maybe. So yeah, if the, if that footage from Oman does indeed being end up being genuine, <clears throat> it does appear like there is streaming going on, like it is in the process of reentry, but we don't know yet if that is correct video or not. Because again, people like to kind of pull hoaxes. They know that people are looking for this kind of video on Twitter, and they go on there and they post an old video, or they. So we're 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 awaiting 
or awaiting confirmation. Lisa Thompson, thank you very much. Hello from Michigan. Thank you for doing this. So you're very, very welcome. It's it's been fun to share the share the evening here on the weekend with y'all. This has definitely been fun. Okay, so just still waiting that radar confirmation. <clears throat> we know we were expecting that around three UTC, which has passed. We're about five minutes past that, so hopefully any minute we'll get some we'll get some news. If this thing is still up, and that's a big if, it's looking more likely than not that it's down. But if it is still up, next landfall would be uh, southern Mexico, just north of, of Guatemala and Nicaragua. So a few answers, you know, you know, will it hit Texas? You know, it seems like almost no chance of that. It likely is, you know, could be down at this point. We're just, we're just waiting for the, the formal confirmation before we call it. But really appreciate all the viewership on this stream and on, on space. I think it's a exciting time to be alive where, where you have, you know, being in a space age where things go, go right a lot of the time and sometimes things go wrong, but that's part of, uh, that's part of the journey. And it is nice to see that other countries like China are getting uh, are getting to space and improving their programs as well. I think it helps all of humanity to have competition and and uh, you know different ways of getting things done. Snazzy 2.0, thank you very much for the chat. Thank you so much for doing this. I really appreciate it. Well, thank you, Snazzy, for the for helping us out. Zerophils, thank you for the for the chat as well. Thanks so much for the commentary and maps. Super helpful. Well, thank you. So the thinking right now is that it, it may be down. But once again, we're just kind of awaiting any kind of uh, formal confirmation. Thank you for the chat. Mm -hmm. Juhi Asha uh, says, Jacob Bergen, I love you. So at this point, it is flying, you know, across the day-night Terminator. Now it's in the middle of the ocean. So if somebody was around there, they'd be able to see it if it was still, you know, was still in space. Uh, but we're very quickly headed into nighttime here over Mexico. And if it does not, if it, if it does not uh, appear visible there, yeah, that definitely would be a, a data point. And the other thing is since it is approaching kind of the very southern tip of North America, you know, with uh, you know, being in Mexico, kind of Central America, you know, I would hope that we'd be in range of some of the Air Force, United States Air Force's space surveillance radars. So we should have some update here sometime soon. Vicki, thank you very much once again. Uh, thanks so much for this as being super interesting and your commentary has been A+. Plus. Well, hey, really, really appreciate that. We'll have to do some more of these in the future. This is, uh, believe it or not, my first time doing one of these live streams. So it's it's uh, fun, to, fun to do one. I usually shoot videos of rocket launches and landings and that sort of stuff and, and do a lot of uh, engineering. So it's fun to, it's fun to come out here and talk, uh, talk technical stuff with everybody, so. So it will be interesting with this Mexico pass. Um, if we don't get any videos from there, that definitely would be a, a data point. And Ethan, um, if you do see any updates, please uh, please message me so I can relay them here. Okay, looks like I got something here.
Repster123, thank you very much. Uh, your message says Space Force has reportedly said that it has re-entered. Uh, Jonathan McDowell retweeted or tweeted. Okay, so we'll check on that right now. If so, that would be good news. It would likely indicate a, you know, it dropping into the into the Indian Ocean. And we are seeing that. Insiders, this is, here's the tweet, Insiders at Space Force reporting that data indicates the rocket has indeed re-entered, but still waiting for confirmation, i.e. correctly, it fails to show up on radar next time around, presumably somewhere between the Middle East and Australia. Stay tuned. And then one minute ago, an update, still, so still waiting for Space Force confirmation, but indications are, with low to moderate confidence, the rocket probably came down somewhere over the Indian Ocean. Okay, so that matches very, very much what we've been saying based on the available information. So that's the latest. Um, hopefully we get an official Space Force, uh, you know, we'll call it and say, okay, it's down. We'll, we will see. Honey Clouds, thank you. This is very thank, helpful. Thank you. Well, thank you very much too for the, for the donation. We will stay here until we get some kind of radar confirmation. This thing is indeed down. If it is still up, it's approaching, approaching the southern area of Mexico. And if it is still up after that, it could actually make a pass on Southern Florida. But it does appear that uh, this thing is most likely in the Indian Ocean some, some, some minutes ago. Hey, Rod, thank you for the $100 super chat. Uh, you're the best. Uh, it says, thank you for sharing educational and informative data. We thank you. If you're ever in Chicago, let me know, and I'll give you a free haircut. Well, thank you very much, A-Rod. I really, really appreciate it. I know from the whole team here at Infinite Space, you know, it means a lot uh, to, to, to hear that uh, the coverage was helpful and informative, and, and uh, it's, it's been an adventure uh, watching, this, uh, watching this thing come down. So. so we will see. So are we getting an update from retweeted by Jonathan McDowell? He says the CNSA slash CMS official account on Weibo confirms that Long March 5 CZ5B booster has re-entered at 224 UTC, May 9th. The location of the re-entry is 72.47 degrees east, 2.65 degrees north. Uh, the CMS website appears to be down now. So apparently they made that post and then people are kind of swarming it to try to see more information, but it has crashed the website. So it is possible that this thing's down. We're, we're continuing to get information that leads us to think it's down. Another update from Jonathan McDowell. China now reporting that it is down right over the Maldives Islands, which is in the Indian Ocean. So they're saying now reporting the rocket re-entered at 0224 UTC at 72.47 east, 2.65 degrees north, which is right over the Maldives you can pull that up on Google Earth. Uh, if correct, we'll be interesting to see if we get any reports from there. So that is a populated island. Uh, yeah, it would be real fascinating if somebody happened to get a video out there in the Indian Ocean. So interesting. It's also good information that we're getting, um, you know, specific coordinates it seems to maybe indicate maybe there was some radar data or something to support that. But we will see, we will see. Hopefully, you know, in this world of phones, uh, somebody can, can uh, you know, could have gotten a, a shot of it. So as you can see here, we're colleague is trying is looking to uh, find the possible location where they're indicating it might have, might have dropped. If it is still in the air, uh, it would be coming right over the horizon in Mexico. So Ethan, the Maldives are kind of over, uh, you know, to the west, southwest of Sri Lanka, if you're able to locate that. But yeah, this has been really an exciting evening following this, uh, this drama of this uh, rocket re-entering. It really is... Uh, Quite the quite the story. 
and this kind of thing happens from 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 time to time. But uh, it's unusual when you have this twenty three ton object, you know, that's getting ready to to, to fall down. There's the Mel dives. It does appear to be off the ground track, so I'm I'm a little skeptical of those coordinates, but we'll we'll see we'll see as we get more information here. Super chat from Andrew Blaine he says thank you for the stream. Well, thank you, Andrew, for for joining us and. Seeing what's going on with this thing. So still no official Space Force confirmation, or hopefully get that soon. Jonathan McDowell making another tweet saying an ocean reentry was always statistically the most likely. It appears China won its gamble, unless we get news of debris in the Maldives, uh, but it was still reckless, according to him. So, yeah, I will, I will say, you know, it'd be nice in the future if, if China can get those reentries from uncontrolled to controlled. I think people would breathe a lot easier and, and uh, you know, probably a lot less uh, stress over, you know, over everybody. So once again, I do see some questions. How will we know if it landed? You know, it does appear it most likely has landed due to various reports, um, including from the Chinese government. However, uh, we are, you know, still awaiting radar, you know, radar data. Radar should have come around three UTC, which was about 15 minutes ago. So we're we're hoping, uh, you know, maybe they're just carefully looking at that data, making sure they're not missing anything before they make an announcement. But I I do think more likely than not, it came down somewhere in the Indian Ocean, between the Middle East. Uh, you know, Saudi Arabia and the coast of Australia. So we're, we're just trying to get confirmation. So lots of people saying that the rocket's down. If it was to still be up, it would be passing over uh, Mex southern Mexico right now. So if you do happen to be in southern Mexico and you go out there, take a look, you know, just in case. You know, until you have that formal confirmation, you know, it's it's sort of in it's sort of in limbo. Moki Tum Tum, thank you very much. Is the past Georgia now? Uh, it really, uh, you know, I'm not sure if you're talking about Georgia the country or Georgia the the state, but it does appear that it most likely is down in the Indian Ocean. Uh, Sophia Marilla, thank you for the chat, says, video of Twitter user uh, WTF while by, who lives in the Middle East, where you can see the rocket with a bright yellow glow. It looks like it's on fire. Okay. So I will, I will go check that out, see, see, what, see what's going on there. We did have that video, um, possibly from Oman, that, uh, you know, that showed, you know, it looked like an object with uh, kind of some plasma trail going behind it. So... It's po very possible that this thing was starting to its reentry as it as it left the Middle East, and then ultimately probably came down in the somewhere in the Indian Ocean. That's the best best information we have at this point. Looking at that video, by no means definitive. It could be, you know, that could be a high altitude trail being lit up by sunlight. So. I definitely wouldn't say that video is definitive, but, but we're look, looking at it. We'll see. Thanks for sharing anyway, though. Okay, continuing to look at this thing here. Christian Davenport we're making a tweet says there was a big public outcry after China shot down a dead weather satellite in 2007, causing a huge debris field that still causes problems today. Many U.S. officials think the think only public pressure will prevent another spent rocket stage reentry problem like the one we saw today. 
So, so that is something that, uh, yeah, that, you know, what is the aftermath of this whole event? And, you know, uh, these, these next two Chinese space station modules, too, are supposed to fly on the same rocket. So let's hope that, you know, perhaps China will kind of see the public outcry and see that people were kind of worrying about this and everything and, and, and will maybe, uh, you know, will maybe, uh, uh, you know, try a little harder on the deorbiting or fix whatever problem kept them from doing it. Let, let's let's hope for for a for a better uh, a better future with fewer fewer multi ton twenty ton objects falling out of the sky. Uh, Whitney Rundledge, uh, thank you for the for the super chat. Uh, she reports that Space Track on Twitter confirmed it's down. So we'll take a look at that Space Track on Twitter. See if they're if they're referencing any radar data or not. Yeah, so spacetrack.org is generally a pretty good, pretty reliable source for information. So still no radar confirmation, but uh, obviously there's, there seems to be strong indications that it's likely likely down by now. So, okay, well, at this point, um, you know, it may be down, but if you are in the southern region of Florida uh, and you do, uh, if it is by some strange reason still up, uh, you know, we would appreciate reports over Florida at this point. It would be starting to become visible about 45 degrees high in the sky, and it will pass over south central Florida. So if you are in those areas, let me know if you see anything. Most likely down, but, you know, obviously uh, would like to have some final final confirmation for this. See, getting some more, more tweets here. Yeah, just further confirmation coming from China, CNSA, CMS official account, confirming that it re-entered. So, so really Florida will be the last kind of look at it, I think. Whitney, Brent Lynch, thank you for the $5, says I'm in Tampa and outside watching, perfect. See if anything comes overhead. I think at this point we'd all be surprised if it's still up. But uh, we will see. Stephen Childress, thank you. Uh, welcome to Captain. Thank you for joining. Just having an internal discussion here with uh, my colleagues here about uh, where, if it did land in the Maldives, what those coordinates went to. Would be somewhat north of the ground track, so I'm not totally 100% sure on that, but it, it may, it likely did go down the Indian Ocean. But according to those coordinates from the Chinese government, it would have been very close to an island, if, if that is actually the case. But it also does appear kind of northern, more north of the ground track than we would have maybe have expected. So, so we'll see. We'll see. Jennifer Tirado, welcome to Cabin Crew. Thank you very much. So at this point, if it is still up, it would be over the Gulf of Mexico getting ready to make an appearance in Florida. Oh, actually, uh, I would have already passed Florida. My, my uh, screen lagged a little bit. Well, Jason Sutton, thank you for the super chat. And Masha Charoki, hi. Uh, thank you for the, the, the chat. Aerospace Corporation tweeted confirmation from spacetrack.org. Long March 5B is down. So it seems to be the consensus at this point. 
that that it has has landed in the Indian Ocean, between the Middle East and Australia, the coast of Australia. Still, possibly around the Maldives, although that report's a little bit unconfirmed because it seems to be a little a little further north of the ground track than expected. But uh, we will we will see. Hopefully, hopefully somebody got some video somewhere, and we can kind of get some some closure on all this. But very cool, very cool. Jennifer Torado updates us. Thank you for the super chat. Outside now, live in uh, Deland, Florida, by Okala National Woods. So it's pitch black, and so going to look. Shout out to Savannah and Amy. We were all looking. So cool, cool. So we've got some good spotters that were on the ground there in Florida. And doesn't seem like uh, it has made it that far. Jared Kennard, thanks for the chat. Happy Mother's Day to my wife, Lori Mika Kakinger, from her husband, Barry. So happy, happy Mother's Day to you, Lori. Well, I do encourage everybody who's here to, yeah, uh, to subscribe to this channel. You know, we're going to continue to cover space events here. Uh, somebody says, I've been watching from Miami and nothing here. Ninja, oh, Ninja 2, thank you very much for the super chat and for giving us the update. Yeah, it seems, to, seems very unlikely that it's still in orbit at this point. You know, we're running on old orbital elements that haven't been updated now for some time. You know, still no confirmation from the United States Space Force, but uh, you know they may be they may be waiting for multiple multiple different radar acquisitions to show that it's missing before they they formally call it. But this point does appear that it came down somewhere in the Indian Ocean, according to consensus of, of experts everywhere. So for anybody <clears throat> interested in space news, you know uh, the Christian Downport reporting the Long March 5B is down, possibly in the Indian Ocean. He says Elon Musk is up, definitely live from New York. So from one space news area to, to another. Uh, Buck Tang, thank you very much for the super chat. Uh, yo, can you say happy Mother's Day to Sharina? Thank you. Well, happy Mother's Day, Sharina. Also really appreciate the super chat. Uh, Ace Orbit. Uh, Re, what's up, E-Train? Thank you for the chat. Uh, Gif Marima, thanks for the five bucks. Says so the whole, whole, whole this time you're bluffing. I wasted five hours, so you can't be trusted because the predicted time is out. Well, it does actually appear that the predicted time was very close. You know, we had said it would be plus or minus an hour. Uh, we saw it go over the, you know, the, it was kind of estimating originally. And the last data we had was that it would come down, perhaps, you know, most likely in the Mediterranean. It appears to have flown a little longer, maybe another 15, 20 minutes or so. But then uh, all reports indicating that it came down in the Indian Ocean. So do appreciate your support. Um, you know, uh, uh, this, these are always estimates based on very, very complicated rocket science, drag calculations, um, data processing. And, uh, and ultimately, it looks like it came down very close to when the predicted time was. So. But the good news is it appears that, you know, hasn't, uh, hasn't landed on anybody, um, at least as of yet. No news stories of that. And most likely came down in the Indian Ocean, off of somewhere between the Middle East and uh, the western coast of Australia. So a lot of ocean on this planet, lots of places to absorb things like that without hurting anybody. So that's, so that's good news, and we're, we're always happy to, happy to hear that. Crazy Ray, uh, thank you very much for the donation. Thank you for keeping us updated on the rocket. You're very welcome. You know what's cool is between radar updates, these these uh, you know these these companies that do reentry estimates and social media. You know it's cool we're able to to track you know to track these objects and and uh, you know to a pretty reasonable po po point figure out where they landed halfway across the world. So pretty amazing. Uh, GRD, 11 friends, YouTube, thank you very much for the donation. What will happen if it lands in your state? Well, at this point, it looks like it won't land in your state. 
looks like it's going to land. It landed in the Indian Ocean already. You know, we're still kind of awaiting the absolute confirmation for that. But, you know, at this point, it seems that it most likely came down somewhere in the Indian Ocean. The Chinese have given coordinates, um, you know, that seem a little bit, for, you know, too far north of the ground track potentially. But uh, it does appear that we might have seen some plasma coming off, you know, coming off the stage as it, you know, as it departed the Middle East. And then we know that it most likely didn't make it to Australia. So we know that it went down somewhere, somewhere in that big wide ocean out there. Uh, it likely splashed down, and maybe only disturbed a few fish. Raina, thank you for the super chat. Apparently the rocket is down according to the Chinese government. Not sure though. And yeah, that's kind of where we, where we all are right now. We're, we're, we're just, uh, you know, presumably it's missing on the radars by now, I would expect, but, um, and for anybody interested, uh, pin the comment, join the Discord server. So if you're interested in this kind of space stuff, rocketry, launches, landings, you know, we're, in a, we're entering into a new era of exciting reusable rockets with a lot of the Falcon 9, Falcon Heavy, and Starship stuff. So be sure to, to join that Discord and follow us there. Well... Still monitoring the, the chat to see if there's any further information or questions coming in. You know, hopefully the whole point of, of this too is, is to was to hopefully keep everybody calm and collected that there was always very low risk of it hitting anybody or causing any damage or even landing on land at all. So Nika, thank you very much for the chat. Uh, Gavanka, Nika loves you so much. So Gavanka, you're very loved by Nika. So we haven't heard of any reports either in Mexico, in Australia, New Zealand, or in Florida that, uh, that this thing was visible. So last report was really out in the Middle East. We're kind of in, you know, enlarging this this video. It's purportedly the last video of it. We will see. It'll be interesting if we end up getting getting some more firm uh, data on when this thing, where exactly this thing landed. But it seems to be best bet somewhere in the Indian Ocean, which was always the the most likely thing to happen. Continuing to look here, the latest feeds, spacetrack.org saying, we believe the rocket went down in the Indian Ocean, but are waiting on official data from at 18 SPCS, which is the 18th Space Control Squadron, which detects, tracks, identifies all artificial objects in Earth orbit. So that's what we're waiting on, is we're waiting for an official uh, US government post about this, the 18th Space Control Squadron. reason we probably don't have immediate confirmation is they tend to do kind of an analysis. So Pat uh, Schneider, thanks for the super chat, says satview.org shows the location of entry was latitude negative 37, longitude 131. Is this closer to the ground track? And I, I don't know off the top of my head on that. I'll take a quick look, look though. Yeah, so those coordinates would be off the southern portion of Australia. So it is it is possible, you know, that, that is closer to the ground track, however. It's that's, you know, more kind of southern south of Australia. And we didn't have any reports of 
fireballs or anything from Australia. So even though that is along the ground track, that may be a kind of an estimated entry point. Kimberly Harvey, thank you very much for the 699. Says thanks for the updates and educational live stream watching from near Toronto, Ontario, Canada. Well, thank you very much. So, so just to kind of recap what happened, uh, you know, we had the Chinese launch the first module of, of three large modules from the space for their space, new space station that was on a uh, Chinese you know, Long March 5B rocket. And that's a variant that does not have an upper stage. So it has only a, a core stage and four strap on boosters. Uh, it is a liquid hydrogen, liquid oxygen rocket with kerosene and liquid oxygen on the strap on boosters. Uh, they launched this orbitally to space, but then the, the you know, the, the core stage, uh, you know, did reach orbit, uh, but uh, was not able to, to do a, a, a burn to do a controlled reentry for whatever reason, either intentionally or non-intentionally, we're not sure yet. Uh, as a result, this thing orbited the Earth for, for some period of time, and then now uh, today went under, underwent a, a uh, reentry, like, likely into the Indian Ocean. Uh, so Shihan Chen, thank you for the $5 super chat. Can you explain why this rocket caught so much more attention than the uncontrolled reentry of the Falcon 9 not long ago, which did hit a farm? Yeah, it's a great question. You know, the Falcon 9 upper stage is much smaller than, than the core stage of this rocket. You know, this core stage of this rocket was almost 23 tons, and it was 100 feet long and about 16 feet in diameter, whereas the Falcon 9 upper stage is smaller. Um, but, uh, you know, so, so it just kind of caught, I think, more of the public imagination, you know, being that massive and, and the knowledge that much larger pieces would likely make it to the ground or into the ocean. So I think it's just that it was a much larger kind of threat by the amount of mass is probably why it ended up catching a lot more media attention than, than the, you know, the second stage of the Falcon, which they do try to deorbit those, those second stages of the Falcon 9. Uh, however, there must have been some kind of a technical issue. Horseshoe 621, tell Heidi that Doug loves her, please. So Heidi, uh, Doug, Doug loves you. Uh, six degrees forward. Uh, JBPost.com confirms uh, 72.47 east, 2.65 north. So another possible data point. Jeff Roma, thank you for the for the five dollar chat. Stephen Childress, uh, thank you for the twenty dollars. Hey, thank you for the coverage and happy Mother's Day to Kitten from Daddy Duncan and Lulu. So. You're very welcome for the coverage. Uh, this is this has been exciting and kind of fun to see where this thing would come down. It looks like most likely it came down to the ocean, which is what we had always hoped for. Uh, you know, it'd be nice if some video ends up popping up where it came down, but uh, you know, sometimes this happens. It was out in out in the ocean, so. Yeah, and, and kind of further addressing, you know, what happened with Falcon 9 upper stage is, is they did have a number of COPBs, which are composite overwrap pressure vessels that did re-enter, I believe it was in Washington State, um, on the you know, Pacific Northwest of the United States. And, uh, you know, initially there were some pieces found, uh, and then actually some meteorite hunters uh, went out there and were able to find more pieces. And those pieces were then taken, uh, actually a friend of mine named Robert Ward uh, went and recovered many of those pieces. And the, the carbon fiber material itself is very, uh, uh, very abrasive and, and uh, you know, it can get in your hands and kind of poke you almost like a cactus. So I know that he took it back to Arizona and then uh, eventually SpaceX security ended up sending some people out to meet with him and, you know, took those pieces off his hands just because of the possible hazardous nature of them, them being kind of, you know, those sharp shards of carbon fiber. Um, but, but ultimately, uh, you know, nobody was hurt. There was no, no real damage done. So, so all's well that all's well that ends well. And there are some, some media stories about that whole recovery of those Falcon 9, uh, Falcon 9 pieces. And that happens from time to time, you know. And, and what is nice, even with the Falcon 9, is, is recovering that first stage. And normally we just throw the whole first stage into the ocean, uh, which, you know, is arguably it's kind of like what you're throwing your trash in the ocean, right? So it is nice if you're able to reuse those rockets, both from a lowering the cost of launch access standpoint, uh, but also just from a... Uh, you know, you know, from an environmental standpoint, better off if you're not, you know, littering uh, as much as possible. But uh, you know, at this point, it is good that this this uh, Chinese stage, you know, seems to have have splashed down as best as best we can tell from the information available to us. I'm going to do a check here, see if there's been any any further 
movement error. So no, no update yet from the 18 SPS. So no truly definitive update at this point. Uh, we do believe from multiple sources that it landed in the Indian Ocean, including the Chinese government. Uh, we do know from the eyewitness accounts that we saw it coming out of the Middle East with some plasma starting to appear on the back end of it, and then uh, does not seem to have made it all the way to Australia. <clears throat> so you know, the best indications are that it is down. So. So I'm just going to pause here for a moment, uh, take a moment, get a drink. have been streaming for several hours straight. But at this point, uh, yeah, it seems to have splashed down in the Indian Ocean. Obviously, we'll wait for future official confirmation, and we'll post anything on screen if that comes up. Uh, but uh, it's been great uh, uh, talking with everybody here uh, and chatting with everybody about this this excitement. But it does appear to be to have landed, so. All right, well, I think actually,